<laughs> I can tell I have to do laundry because this is my least favorite color of uh, shirt. But anyway, I will take every one of those great comments and suggestions that were on the focus group video to heart and apply them. I agree, completed forms, patterns for forms. Uh, what else? The heavier, lighter bow? You know, father and son, mother, daughter, father, daughter, any permutations? Good idea, getting bows into the hands of the youth. What else? There were people that said they would buy these things now. Let me state that in the case of my paddle bow and talisman, and it finally clicked what I have to do for the snake bow, any of those three, I don't need to test them. They've been thoroughly tested, and I've made bunches of them, so they're good. What I need to do, though, before I can do any pricing, let's start at the basics, um, bending forms. I just need to make runs of these things just to see it time-wise, you know, to get a good bead of a reasonable price. Getting them into people's hands, whether or not it's the bending forms or patterns or or my uh, scribing tool, how long does it take me to make them? So I can get a, an honest assessment and start right from the beginning, good pricing. The case of this and my Michigan bow, and I just call it Michigan bow because I love Michigan. It's a great state. I need to complete various permutations. I need to send you back this, and I'll be rushing the send you job, um, baking it in my car parked in the sun, you know, nowhere near as long as I would like to keep the sinew carrying, but it will give me an idea. I know they'll work, but I just want to have completed bows in these styles, exact dimensions, blah, 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 for unleashing upon the public. Both this and this. This recurves, um, probably not sinew backed, but maybe, I don't know, but rawhide back in the case of this. Straight, no heat bending, and then the heat bend recurve tips. This, just straight, although sinew will pull it in the reflex and maybe slightly deflex tips. I just want to see how they operate before I start selling them. So I, I anticipate that I will have my act together middle of August. It'll take that long because there are an immense number of pieces to this puzzle that I have to bring together. I worked this week and I had this weekend off, first weekend, full weekend off in, gosh, about a month. And because of a certain festival taking place in town, I probably will have two weekends I work and then it'll be a while before I get another two days off in a row. But there's pricing. There's actually putting together everything I have. Spent a lot of time this weekend just updating and improving my methods. Sometimes you have to take a step back, take a breath, and fix and improve everything you currently have before you move on. And that's what I've, I've done this weekend, you know, along with steam bending this. Now, the next question is, how do you impart the knowledge? I have this kit. I've got the bow blank. Say I have a bending form. I have a, a radius sanding block. Which I still, I might just instead of finding a metal shop to make the right size hole for the arbor of my table saw for a smaller blade like the floor, flooring saw or else a trim saw. Maybe just get a flooring saw or a trim saw and mount it on a table for making those radius, the proper radius sanding blocks, instead of trying to monkey around with drilling a hole in a smaller blade that has a smaller arbor size. But neither here nor there. But how do I take this array of stuff, including strings? Somebody mentioned, you know, how about somewhat refined backstrap sinew for sinew bowstrings? Absolutely, because pennies grow in the pounds. It, by that I mean, a lot of times, the bread and butter is the smaller stuff. But anyway, how do I take these components and create a great bow out of them? 
So the learning the fine art of editing a video, of course, include it. I'm going to write my second book. Um, my days of working for somebody else are numbered, let's just say, and I'll have like all day long, every day to work on bows. Editing videos, so I've got one complete video for each one. And maybe a link, you know, on a piece of paper included in the kit. So yeah, that's that. The website too. I mean, this is huge. Got to come up with a price list, test both, improve my production methods, uh, including if I was to do like I did this and correcting, I put a side bend in the handle when I was steam bending it. It happens. Everything can be corrected. Clamp stuff down, hit it with a heat gun, re-steam it. You know, there's ways of doing it. But to add value, this is a this is a pattern. This is not a, a bending form. This is a pattern for a gull wing. And you can see that more gap here in the center. It's varying thickness. Coming up with shh, a press with thicker wood, multiple of these so I can do a run. Instead of with my turkey boiler, you know, it's the thing you put oil in it and you drop a turkey in there and then it explodes and everyone gets burned. I have a pot of water on it, tin, uh, aluminum foil over the top, steam bending. And to do a single bow and correct <laughs> side bend, you know, it's like three hours. And it just can't happen. Plus, I'm burning up all that propane for a single bow. So multiple presses using tip squisher technology. This is something I make for recurving and putting reflexes and handles using a lever system and then locking the presses together and then just pulling up a bow from a tube, multiple bows in there, pulling it out, putting it in the press, locking it down, pulling on another bow. More efficient use of propane and time, which means savings as far as money. And, you know, more uniformity. But yeah, that's about it. A lot of stuff happening. I got to get dressed and go to work for somebody else. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Thank you for watching. Just hopefully I updated and answered some questions. Just give it some time. Got to pull all the pieces together. I'll be a, a working bow shop selling probably mid-August. I know I could certainly sell things now, but I'm trying to bring this whole dog and pony show under a single tent. That was clever. That is all. You are released from this formation.